Antennas are everywhere and come in various shapes and sizes. You and I rely on them heavily for things like cellular communication, the global navigation satellite system, and air traffic control. They are a fundamental part of many modern electronics, but exhibit quite mysterious characteristics. In this video, we'll play with the Nano RFE VNA 6000B network analyzer and see if we can get a better understanding of how some of these elements behave. Sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a leading PCB prototype manufacturer. They offer advanced assembly services, CNC services, 3D printing, and more. With consistent manufacturing quality across all projects, I've picked them to manufacture a range of upcoming projects like these flexible antennas, the new flight computer stack, and some specialized hardware for the testbed rocket. Use the link in the description to get your projects prototyped quickly and affordably today. Additionally, I would like to give a huge shout out to the Nano RFE team for sending over the VNA 6000B. It is an honor to explore this type of test equipment and most importantly, be able to share it with you. So let's cover the obvious. What actually is an antenna? And why can't we just measure one with basic test equipment like this multimeter or oscilloscope? Well, an antenna is almost like a microphone or speaker. However, instead of listening for and creating mechanical sound waves, antennas do so with electromagnetic radio waves. If you recall the electromagnetic spectrum from science class, it becomes much clearer why our bodies generally can't sense them. What makes them impossible to measure with tools like a multimeter are due to their high frequency nature. Multimeters are only designed to measure up to a few hundred hertz. Even high-end oscilloscopes lack the sensitivity and most importantly, the ability to directly measure scattering parameters. That's where this instrument shines. The Vector Network Analyzer, or VNA, is a device with the ability to measure not only the amplitude, but also phase of signals reflected and put through a device under test. These two measurements are known as S11 for reflected power and S21 for power put through. To pull this off, Nano RFE uses an error-corrected signal generator and receiver system with lab-grade sensitivity to analyze the frequency-dependent behavior of various circuits and devices under test. Now that we kind of understand how this thing works, let's see how it can actually be useful. Here's a quarter-wave ground plane antenna I built for capturing local aircraft ADS-B signals. Its main element is a quarter wavelength of its target resonance frequency of 1090 MHz. We can see that match pretty closely here on the VNA through an S11 measurement. If we recall that the S11 measurement represents the power reflected, a lower number means that the antenna is more effectively absorbing the power. However, this does not mean that the antenna is radiating all of that power, but we can cover that in another video. The standing wave ratio, or SWR, is a ratio of the power transmitted and reflected from a device under test. With an ideal ratio of 1 to 1, anything above 2 to 1 may be a little sketchy. Similarly, this is a circular polarized skew planner antenna used for 5.8 GHz FPV aircraft video systems. We can also see how it effectively targets a resonance frequency of around 5,800 MHz. And this, well this is just a piece of mangled copper wire, but when mangled correctly, it too can become an effective antenna. The real magic of this device is its ability to measure the imaginary reactive properties of components. This is a Smith chart. It looks quite scary, but trust me here. Any point along this line represents pure resistance, increasing to infinity as we move to the right. Points above the midline represent inductive reactants, while points below the midline represent capacitive reactants. This is especially cool when analyzing discrete components, because you can see just how much of a resistor or inductor your capacitor is. This also applies vice versa, of course, for resistors and inductors. Wow, you're still watching. What a G. In another video, we can further explore the S21 through measurements to test and understand the behavior of through devices like this low noise amplifier. We can even utilize clever test arrangements to measure antenna properties like polarization and gain. Please let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I know there's, there's a lot of rocketry interest and that's definitely coming up. I plan to make a video about the new flight computer, um, kind of going over the architecture and you can kind of talk about my thought process and, and design process there. You want to see the flight computer first, more rockets first, more antenna stuff, drone stuff, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.